Because Joko experienced and very cunning on court. So I, I for one, am, want to see how he sort of tries to change this particular style of play. Now, of course, they did meet, I think, earlier this year, and uh, Joko won that fairly easily. Well, that's right. He won it fairly easily. But uh, from the US Open onwards, we have seen uh, Dong Jong playing a different sort of game altogether. OK, well, it's going to be a great match. Uh, Asia Cup last year in Beijing when uh, he beat uh, Joko in the semi-finals and Aryan Tuadi in the finals. Uh, that was the first time actually anybody heard of Dong Jiang. And lately, of course, from the US Open, uh, where you had seen him, Brian, he reached the finals and lost to Hermawan and uh, lost two tournaments in China and Thailand. He was one there. He is uh, 32. And uh, he's actually being a little bit premature. He's. Uh, He's going to be 22 next Monday, but to winner of Thailand, winner in China, runner-up at the US, as you mentioned, Singapore. It was a semi-finalist, got knocked out in the third round of the World Championships in Switzerland. That's uh, Dong John, but uh, the man on form. But it's going to be a bit of a chess game. Joko Kipriato has got all the skills and uh, really has uh, refined them all during his illustrious career. 29 years of age now, ranked two in the world. Well, Joko, uh, Brian has in fact, uh, as we see here, semi-finals in the China Open, uh, has had four victories this year, including the Asia Cup, which was his big win uh, of the year, and the World Cup a couple of months back. But a very late starter on the world circuit, uh, if I may say so. I mean, it's only about three years back uh, that Joko started winning. And 93 and 94 were tremendous years for Joko when he became world number one. But before that, he used to be just around the first or second round. Uh, loser, but uh, player, tremendous experience and tremendous court craft, and I'm sure he's going to show a lot of that today. Well, you mentioned the Asia Cup victory he had. That was in Qingdao. We saw that on uh, Prime Sports. Magnificent uh, atmosphere in the stadium when Joko came through, and uh, I think he seemed to remember his comment afterwards. He said, maybe I've proved I'm not too old for the Olympics. So he's obviously got his mind set on going to Atlanta next year. Well, there's, lot of, there's been a lot of talk about uh, the Thomas Cup as well, and uh, the Indonesians have uh, got this uh, habit of trying to take in their younger players. Well, Joko Suprianto is, uh, is uh, undefeated so far in this group, as is uh, Dong Jian, uh, Jeremy Van Dijk and Tan Sien Peng, the local man, have uh, got the worst end of uh, against uh, Jeremy Van Dijk and Tan Sien Peng. They've yet to uh, not won a set. Yeah, and uh, an absolutely clean record for Joko and Dong John. So it's appropriate this uh, third day sees the uh, decider here. One or two of the groups already decided uh, on yesterday's results. But this one alive right to the end. As we mentioned, Adi Wirinata, that went uh, three very grueling sets against Alan Budi Kasuma, the Olympic champion. That was uh, played just a little bit earlier prior to this broadcast. Three, one. Now, if you had someone like an Ardi Wirinata playing Joko, I mean, Ardi likes to keep, uh, keep the rallies going, play long, hard rallies, punish the, uh, physically punish his opponent, take it into a third set. Now, Dong John, might be lured into, you know, that sort of tactic. Well, I don't know. It may be, it may be dangerous. That's not his game. Well, that's one great thing about Joko, Brian, is that he's able to change his game to suit uh, the style, you know. And uh, when, you, when you see him play against Ardi, he would be the aggressor. He would be the one who would try to finish off the rally early, uh, trying to break the rhythm of Ardi. But when he's playing against Dong Jong, he would not allow Dong Jong to go in for attack. I mean, that's the sort of strategy that he likes to play. Always thinking, always on the move. And as I said early on, he's a very cunning player on court. He already has uh, got a big lead, the 4-1, in the initial stages of this game, first game. See, that's the sort of stroke uh, that he plays, right on the body of Dong Jung there, keeping the China man on the move, and a lovely drop shot to finish off that rally. A lot of deception in that stroke, brushing the shuttle down. Well, I'll just have a look at this. Joko, a very aggressive position on court. A lovely angle smash, just, uh, well, half smash. Pace taken off it. Great deception. 
in very quickly for the kill. 6-1, first set. It's been a good start for Joko Suprianto. Prior to that win in Chengdu earlier this year, uh, many of his fans, and I'm sure the Federation, were getting a little bit worried because he hadn't won a tournament uh, since uh, Thailand last year. That's right, and then he has made amends, hasn't he? <laughs> he has won the Koniga Cup, and he won the Asia Cup. Uh, he won the World Cup, which was a big one. And uh, in the China Open, he lost to Paul Eric Hoy Larson in the semi-finals. So he's been having a good time since the Asia Cup. But very interesting uh, battle on court here. Uh, Joko keeping uh, the attack away from Dong Zhang all the time. The shuttle going in very awkward angles for the young Chinese player. Middle of the court serve there, one of the rare mistakes that Joko has made and instantly punished by Dong Jiang. We've had an update on Mia Udina, incidentally. She's been to the hospital. Uh, it's not a hamstring problem, but it's uh, apparently her knee that caused her problems. She was actually at match point against her opponent and uh, had to withdraw on match point. So it's a terrible shock for the 16-year-old Indonesian girl. Miodina was playing Wang Chen of China. There he is, Joko. Typical of him, he's tried, he's slowed down the rally so much. High lobs and perfect length. He's always keeping uh, Dong Zhong pinned to the baseline there all the time. It's very surprising, Brian, that in badminton, which is really considered to be a young man's sport, uh, we have got uh, three players almost 30 years old who are, in fact, uh, leading the world rankings. Paul Eric Hoyle Larsen at 30, Joko at 30, and then we had Jens Olsen of Sweden, also 30 years old. Well, it's good to know you're not on the scrap heap <laughs> after 25. That's right. Out. Seven, one. Well, of course, you do get the these sort of the characters with the longevity in all sports you make the comparison with tennis you've got jimmy connors still competing at the very highest level at uh, 39. Uh, martina martina of course oh. seven, seven. One, seven. but of the top five players in tennis uh, would there be anybody around this age no no they're all agassi sampras uh, even Izovic, all mid-20s, you know, 25, 26. Michael Chang, 25. Oh, it's a wonderful exchange. Well, he broke his racket there. In fact, he knew it uh, when the shuttle dipped down that the pressure had eased off the bird. But uh, somehow, Joko managed to keep that in play. There we see it coming. Beautiful block shot. There it goes. Just rolling off the tape. Well, that's the way to hit it, right off the middle, right off the centre of the frame, when the strings are gone. That's interesting noise, uh, again, uh, going in for an early attack. Low service there didn't quite come off for Joko, but uh, the intention clearly to keep uh, Dong Jiang on defence. And the Chinaman uh, does not relish playing defensive badminton at all. That's a bit more like it. Great uh, leap and a terrific smash from Dong Jian. Watch this as it comes from the camera behind Dong Jian here. Perfectly balanced, falling away and uh, getting the balance with his legs, the, the scissor kick, so that he's perfectly in position as soon as he lands to play the next shot. smash has worked in succession there. Joko still 7-2 up. 
with Dong John serving. Nicely played the middle of the court. A good slice on the shuttle, kept the pace off the shuttle. And uh, keeping in the court there, Joko. He's one of the only players, uh, Brian, on the circuit who will go for every single stroke in the book. He's not afraid to experiment, not afraid to innovate. John being pushed to the back and uh, as you said he didn't seem to like this uh, defensive type of play perfect length and uh, he's won the last two points on those sort of smashes but not the third time well, that looked out Again, push from one uh, angle to his deep backhand there. Uh, and Dong Jong clearly not uh, liking what is happening on court. He really has to keep the shuttle down, uh, Brian. He has to keep the lobs very low if he has to push Joko to the baseline. Return taking the service very late there, Joko. There we see it, and a very awkward return caught right in the middle of the court by Dong Jong with just one single leap. Back live now. Service has gone back to Joko Suprianto. 9 3 he leads, first set. That's about the first mistake that Joko's made in this first set. That's right, and uh, the way these players keep on uh, looking up, in fact, Rashid yesterday was looking up, I think there's a little problem with the lights, you know, they keep on missing the side of the shuttle at times. I wonder if it's also happening on the other courts. Oh, a wonderful reaction on the backhand from Dong Jian. Absolute instinct and reflex. Gave him the point. Watch this. This is a wonderful shot from Dong Jian. No fluke about that at all. Look at it from this uh, corner angle. He flicks the shuttle right back towards the camera. Here's the smash coming up. And then the flick into the open court with Joko stranded on the forehand side. in smash there the shuttle hit a little bit slowly and Joko obviously not realizing that tried to brush it off and there was no rebound but Joko very nicely is keeping uh, Dong Jiang guessing all the time on the service uh, low backhand followed by high serves that is high finished there by Don Jong. First a quick smash into the body and he rushed in seeing that shuttle high on the net. There we see it coming. That was the one straight into the body from this angle and a quick run to the net. 
the kill set up by the shot that preceded it. Dong Jong really had the control of that rally all the way. Looks as though he, he's uh, getting into a bit of a rhythm. Only four points separate the two in the first set. A good drop shot there, uh, Brian. Very nicely deceiving Joko there. Getting in position for a smash and then brushing it off for that cross court drop shot. Back live, Joko just uh, hit a smash wide to give Dong John another point. 7-10. This time, Joko going on the offensive. <laughs> Quick dial down the chair umpire there, keeping an eye on things. He's got to make sure that uh, play is continuous, but as we mentioned before, using their discretion. Yeah, it's a bit unrealistic to yeah. expect players not to take on water or towel off during a, a long and grueling set. Well, at times they call the players back in uh, when they realise that uh, the toweling off is more of a tactics than the actual need. Nice spin shot and a good opening there for Joko. Well, on the net, definitely the Indonesian player plays with a lot more control than Dong Jong. And uh, there he will see him on this shot. Look at that spin shot, just catching the tape and setting up this lovely opening there. Easy finish. John thought he was going to be able to return the compliment there. They clear, the high clear from Joko Suprianto at the net. Here's the drop. Rather, that was uh, the final shot. And again, Joko, mastery on the net. He just knows how much pressure is to be put on that shuttle there, just to roll it over the tape. And uh, really makes things so much difficult for his opponents. Watch the precision on this. Now that's twice we've had the close-ups there, twice he's hit the tape and it's just dropped down. Absolutely no fluke about that whatsoever. Great returns by Joko. Corner to corner, making the Chinese move. Lovely defensive play. I think he's reading his smashes so accurately that he just moves in, steps in before the shuttle comes to that place. Game point for Joko Suprianto. Wonderful shot from Dong Jian, full of deception. You could have half expected him to try and hit his way out of trouble. Not a bit of it, using his head. Joko there, I think, lost the side of the shuttle. He was moving in, and then suddenly stepped back. Eight fourteen. Service over. Service return. A winner. Eight. 
now. Can he finish it off this time? Good lift from a very difficult angle there, Joko. And again, it is the net which really beats the Chinese player. Certainly is, Joko, quite happy to get into those little exchanges at the net. We'll see what he does second set when we come back. In this decider of the Group C competition, there's a five-minute interval. We'll take a break. We'll come back to the Singapore Indoor Badminton Stadium in just a second. We'll be back. be free. The deciding set will be the fourth semi-final qualifier. <laughs> Very loose shot there, Choco. Uh, I think the heat is really on as far as he's concerned. Uh, four match points in the second game. He lost that game. And uh, first rally itself. Very wide shot played outside. <laughs> Dropped on the line. Great stuff. You may be interested. Uh, Sanjay, and I'm sure the viewers will be. We had uh, Toto listening in on the discussion between Joko and the Indonesian coach during that uh, interval. And uh, apparently the suggestion to Joko is that uh, don't initiate the attack because they've uh, realized that Dong john has got an excellent defense and his counter is very good. We mentioned that a couple of times during the commentary when Joko tried to take the initiative. Quite often he was uh, caught out of position by the excellent returns from Dong John. So Joko has got to rally more with, Do with uh, Joko has to rally more with his opponent. Now, whether he's going to be able to do that, whether he's got the fitness, we should see. Two, one. Two, one. And uh, long rally, that one. Mistake on the net by Dong John. Shots like that with uh, Dong John allowing the openings would come in very handy for Joko Soprianto, who once again has got off to a good start. He's had a good start in each of the three sets. I don't know whether it's just loses a bit of steam towards the end. There he goes again. And he's got him twice running with exactly the same shot. It's a good choice of stroke, that one. Uh, he slices that board a bit so that it cuts off the pace as it crosses the net. Well, some easy points there by Dong Jong. I wonder what his coach has told him. <laughs> because this is not the way that he should be playing after winning that very crucial uh, ending of the second game. And he's not ready there, he puts up his hand. And it'll be a let service. The danger in long rallies, of course, is that uh, Joko would not be able to recover as fast as Don Jong as we saw in that uh, second game. Do you think he, cl he played those closing points incorrectly? I mean, obviously he lost them, so you, you, I mean, I'm not asking for the obvious answer. Yes, he lost. Well, or was it a question of Dong John just really playing the better badminton at that time? There was nothing that Joko could have done. Well, I think Joko went to, uh, he was in fact forced into long rallies and he tried to attack too early. So that way his coaches are saying the correct thing, but uh, the longer the rally goes, Joko obviously the older one in court, 
and not as fit as Dong Zhuang. Uh, he would not uh, like to be hustled into longer rallies. 1-5. It's on the line. And a little uppish looking smash there. Kept it very high. Landing almost at the second baseline. Five and an easy point. And Joko taking a little longer to really get ready for the services. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Well, that's the key for Joko when he does try to up the pressure. You really get the feeling that he needs to be able to break through because if uh, Dong John starts getting them back, he seems to lose his way a little bit. That's a great smash. Looks as though he's going to go to Dong Zhang's forehand. Well, Dong Zhang meanwhile gets the service back. Uh, a very loose service by Joko and instantly punished there by Dong Zhang. Well, very interesting that Joko had the shuttle first baseline, but uh, going for a very loose drop. <laughs> Don John starting to work his man around. Well, the early part again, he had a good lead, Joko, but uh, was really pushed into long play. 4-1 at one stage. And now he's uh, middle of the court, uh, returns also not really inclined to smash. Joko getting a read on the flight of that very early. Judging it, uh, he knew it was going out. very fast there, a lot of anticipation was just lurking around the net as soon as he saw Dong Zhuang being pushed to the deep uh, forehand baseline, there it is that flick and uh, the Chinese got on the wrong foot and look at that Joko just stepping in to finish it Good shot to try. But it's actually very interesting because you know you look, you're watching this, and you just think, well, can Joko hang on? Is he going to have the stamina to pull through? Well, his body language is uh, wrong at the moment. He's slowed down as he walks to his base position. But Dong Jung somehow manages to get that shuttle back, but very high and was on the floor as he saw it being hit down. There we'll see that backhand uh, lift and a nice drop rolling over the tape. And Dong Jung nowhere near the shuttle. And back live, Dong Jung winning on another drop shot that had Joko really lunging desperately for the shuttle. You still get the feeling that Don John is uh, in control here. Well, that's right. He's full of energy. I don't think that uh, the pace or the or this long battle that they're fighting is really having all that much effect on him. 
In fact, it is in his favor. The longer he keeps the older of the two, Joko Supriyante, on court, the better are his chances to win. Dropped again. You could clearly see the shuttle going off on the on the sideline there. It seems to be accentuated over in that backhand side. You know, it, 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 we, we've seen before it does affect the other side of the court as well. But it just seems to a little bit more of a current in that quarter. That's right. From Joko's side, actually, this is from left to right. Jong has now got it back to level pegging, six points apiece. Correction, five six. There it was, the smash, and uh, Dong Jong still looking full of energy. Great hit on the body there, and Joko completely surprised by the change of direction, very last moment by Don Jong, six all. I think he was getting those earlier. That's right, uh, the first game in the middle of the second game, he was very much in command on those uh, smashes. point for Joko after a long time and still in fact I would say correctly persisting with the attack where he gets an opening and a nice uh, judgment there and as he changes court he leads 8-6 Joko needs no second asking to go over and have a bit of a breather. But of course here, they're changing ends when the first player reaches eight. Well, he'll take his time to come on the court, that's for sure. That he's coming back on this side. Takes uh, a drink. And Dong Zhang really eager to start the game and yeah the chair yeah. umpire philip lee of singapore suggesting that they might uh, now be ready to continue eight six please <laughs> the drop starting to work against joko soprianto now There's the counter that the Indonesian coach warned Joko of, but uh, no counter on that shot. Joko still leads, 8-6. enough to the net to be able to get that steep angle smash it down towards the floor very difficult for the opponent to retrieve 
but it was the clear there, not quite deep enough. Neither was that. There's the kill. Really thumps it into the net, into the uh, deck. And again. Well, still a lot of breath, but he's uh, somehow managed to keep uh, early attack moving in after his service. Plays the first stroke uh, in deep corners. And instant pressure on Dong Jiang. No expression on his face, uh, Joko, 10-6. Well, that's out. And uh, left at the very last minute by a diving uh, Dong Jiang. And Joko had his chances in that rally as well as in the previous two when he came back in to get two points. Joko was almost lighting up a cigarette as he uh, played that last shot, having a little stroll over. But uh, amazing core coverage by Dong John. That was an unbelievable pickup. Uh, Great deal one. of skill in that. Still not finished. There we are. Thank you very much. <laughs> Three Makazi. <laughs> Too quick for him that time, Dong Jong uh, catching the shuttle on the tape. Sudden change of direction, very last movement, and Joko really caught on the wrong foot. Yes, t uh, so that quickly in position that he was able to hit the shuttle before it dropped too much uh, from the level of the net. So it gave him a lot more angle. again well he has got to cover a lot more court there Joko and clearly that is the longest angle that he has to move and uh, having problems Seven ten. Some of the Chinese doubles players sitting right down in front of our commentary box and they just uh, mimic the flight of the shuttle in the air and again reminding us that there's that drift from left to right. Great smash, great badminton there by Joko. Very steeply angled smashes, getting the openings for that uh, lovely finish. There we see it. Keeps this one down. Hits it across court and displacing uh, Dong Zhong there for that finish. Good reflex by Joko. Three or four inches inside the line, Joko hoping that little bit of current, the air conditioning current might take it wide, not that time.
wonderful cross-court stuff. The opening was made by that little bit of extra pace down the backhand side. So that shot there, and then the opening. Dong Zhong actually expecting another shot down the backhand. Good change of direction. 11-7 in the deciding set here. Well, I thought Dong Zhong had got himself back into that rally. Well, he tried to play that uh, backhand cross court this time, but uh, not so much control as he has been showing on the forehand side. There it is. Plays that across the court. Oh, that's a great shot. But it's interesting to see Dong John selecting the option which forces Joko to move the most. So even though maybe uh, he's got other options that may finish the rally quicker, he's still moving him around. And although he's trailing 7-12, he must still think that uh, he's got a good shout at uh, winning this game. Came from 8-13 down in the second set to win it. Joko had had a couple of big smashes that were returned. Well, I think there was an element of uh, desperation about the last one. And look at the fist and the clench. And Dong John. Well, I think really fooled by the close. Uh, Mess of the shuttle going there near the line and Dong Zhong in two minds whether to leave it or not. And 12-8, uh, Joko has been exploiting that particular backhand flank of Dong Zhong for a long time to get his openings. Nice backhand flick there, last movement, uh, cross court return. Very difficult shot to play. Lim Chao Ching plays that quite a lot, the All England Ladies Champion. There it is. And just turning it across from the other side of the body. Great reach by Dong John. Opportunity. He looks back up towards our commentary position, not to uh, to us, the Chinese supporters and the rest of his teammates sitting just beneath us, grimacing. 12-8, Joko with a serve. Well, this is a very crucial part as far as Joko is concerned, and a good opening there. Time, middle of the court, hit it straight into the racket of Dong Jiang. And then when he had a chance, instead of going for the spin shot, opted to put pressure on the Chinese with a body push and made a mistake. Service back to Dong John, 8-12. for Dong Jian. Looks back up to the players. There they are. One or two of them in that back row. The coach just off to the right. Nine twelve. Well, almost like the second game. Joko had long leads uh, there itself. 13-8. And this time he was leading 12-7. It's 
<laughs> smile there, you know, this again could be tactical, taking his time to settle down. that one round beautifully. Again, it was 8-13 in the second set. Dong John managed to win it. Oh, he's put that wide. A few loose shots. Well, a 38 lead seems to be jinx on this court. Harianto lost yesterday and uh, he lost the match, in fact, and uh, Joko lost the second game from 38 lead. Nicely pushed there, saw the chance there, Joko, and a great finish. Very early on in that rally, on the net, lovely flick, catching Dong Jung totally by surprise. The supporters for Joko getting into this now as he's on match point. He's got it. 29 years of age, too old, not a bit of it. Taken to three sets by the 21-year-old, but he had the stamina, the resolve, and the know-how, of course, to come through and take it in three sets. 15-9, the score in the third set. Well, it has been a good victory here. He kept his cool, uh, knew that he was being pushed in long rallies, but ultimately the vast experience of uh, Joko coming right through. Certainly did Sanjay, so he's through. He'll play Ong Yu Hock in the semi-final. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back for a word in just a second.